If you're planning to, or in the process of deploying company-owned Android devices, such as smartphones, tablets, rugged handheld scanners, POS terminals, wearables, or if you want to allow your employees to use their own devices for work purpose, you may find this presentation helpful in understanding the Android device management process. Adoption of Android devices by businesses has exploded in the past few years. And like other platforms, IT teams are increasingly facing challenges around the management of Android devices. We'll examine various aspects of managing Android devices in this video. The most appropriate answer to the challenge of managing Android devices is to use a mobile device management solution, sometimes also referred to as Unified Endpoint Management Solution, due to its capability to manage not only smartphones and tablets, but also desktops, laptops, and other non-standard form factor devices. Android lifecycle management consists of multiple stages. It starts with enrollment of your corporate or employee-owned devices into the MDM platform. Android Enterprise is the most common and recommended method of enrollment of Android devices. This option is suitable for GMS certified devices. For Android Enterprise, you can use either Google Zero Touch or QR code based enrollment. Note that Android Enterprise is not supported on AOSP based devices as they are not GMS certified. Additional tools such as Knox Mobile Enrollment or KME from Samsung, StageNow from Zebra are also available which makes enrollment of their specific devices fast and easy. Android provides built-in security technology to protect and secure data residing on the Android devices. Starting with Android 10, Android supports file-based encryption, or FBE, where each file is separately encrypted using AES-256 based encryption. Earlier versions of Android supported full disk encryption, or FDE, which involves encrypting the entire user data partition with a single primary key. Android also supports various hardware-backed security mechanisms, such as Verified Boot, Trusted Execution Environment, or TEE, Application Sandboxing, and Backup Encryption. During initial provisioning, a default profile with various policies and restrictions can be applied to the devices. An example of such a policy would include enforcing strong password requirements, disabling USB debugging, or factory reset by the end user. Some OEMs also support OEM config, which is a powerful mechanism to configure OEM-specific features of the device. Using MDM, you can deploy Play Store or private Android apps on the devices or make them available to the end users via managed Google Play. You can also grant runtime permissions to those managed apps to avoid any operational issues in the field where the users may not be tech savvy. You can also configure work-related apps remotely using MDM using the Managed App Config feature. You can also easily distribute content such as PDF, Excel files, or any other kind of data files to your devices. For frontline worker scenarios, you can also set up kiosk mode on the devices and ensure workers can only use approved applications on websites. Properly locking down the devices results in direct increase in worker productivity. If you're part of the IT team, for troubleshooting issues, you can remote into the faraway devices and interact with them using your computer keyboard and mouse. You can also take screenshots, view files and folders on the device, and view the list of running processes. You can also use remote control to train the end users right from your office. For tracking devices, you can use the real-time location tracking feature. You can see where devices are on Google Maps. Historical location information is also available. You can also apply location-based, time-based, and network-based fences to your devices and apply restrictions whenever any device enters or exits the fence. In case the devices are lost or stolen, you can remotely lock or wipe them to ensure corporate data is protected from falling into the wrong hands. All of the data collected from the devices can be viewed using reports. Both built-in and custom reporting options are available. In this video, we covered a few key aspects of Android device management. This is just an introduction and a fraction of what you can do with an Android MDM. We invite you to sign up for a free trial of SureMDM and experience the power of a truly best-in-class Android device management platform. We hope to become a part of your digital transformation journey. Thank you.